Bum, 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 bum. Greetings, everybody. Last Outrider here with a requested video. And yes, people can request a video. You just go make a donation and and uh, say, talk about this. This is one of the most popular topics and questions that I get, and it is, what do I think of the two missing Primarchs? Who are they? What happened to them? Well, I'm sure there's a hundred different theories on who these Primarchs are, but personally, I think we've always known who they are. Now listen to me. It's actually quite simple, and it's supported by the books and the lore. This makes some people sad because it seems obvious once I explain it to them. So this is your one chance. Spoiler alert. If you want to go off and believe the missing Primarchs are whoever you want to believe they are, don't listen to the rest of this video. If you want to know who they really are, I'll continue on. In the Horus Heresy books, one of the beginning books, I think it was Horus Rising or something, there was a time when Horus was talking to one of the other Primarchs about uh, something heretical. And they were in the Hegemon where all of the Primarchs had a statue of themselves on a pillar and two of the pillars were empty. I don't remember the details, but I remember they were talking and they, they, they said, they were talking about breaking oaths, and they said, we are, and he referenced to, do you, wanna ha, do you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to that guy? And then they said, wait, 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 we're not supposed to talk about that, or are you going to break that oath too? Uh, and then they went on to make another reference, and I'm going to digress a little bit here, uh, that the Emperor killed the first missing Primarch, so we know what happened to him. He was killed by the Emperor, and we know what happened to his legion. The Emperor had them join the Ultramarines, to which they made a comment that the reason why the Ultramarines had an advantage in and why they got the ultra the 500 worlds of ultramar is because they're actually twice the size of a normal legion due to the fact they had all the members of this dead primarchs legion absorbed into them now that is a little interesting by itself but that got me thinking, and this is a question nobody has ever asked. So I'm going to give you one of my questions for the 40K universe that people can create their own theories on. If this new legion, I shouldn't say if, when this new legion was absorbed into the ultramarines, that means the ultramarines have two gene seeds from two different Primarchs. It's safe to say that gene seeds are too valuable to have destroyed an entire legion supply of gene seeds when they joined the Ultramarines. And even if they did, all of the legionnaires that were still alive still had their own gene seeds, which would be a hundred to two hundred thousand in and of themselves. So that means not all ultramarines are ultramarines. And you can speculate then, now you can have completely different looking and completely different personalities for some ultramarines and explain it away by saying they have the gene seed of the unknown Primarch. Think about that. Sorry, I just wanted to go off on that tangent. Um, anyways, so we know what happened to that one. 
the second one isn't actually missing. We know who the second uh, missing uh, Primarch is because it's Omegon. We know as 40k players that Omegon exists. But in the 40k universe, the existence of Alpharius' twin is known to virtually no one. It is one of the top kept secrets of the Alpha Legion. We don't even know if everybody in the Alpha Legion even knows about the existence of Omegon. So we can safely say that the other missing Primarch is in actuality Omegon, not a Primarch that was actually missing. Does that make any sense? So to sum up, one was killed by the Emperor, and he was killed because he refused to take over control of his legion. This was also explained to be the final convincing for Angron. When Angron first refused to take over his legion, they basically whispered in his ear, hey, you know, there was one other guy who refused to take over his legion. The emperor just kills you. He just kills you. So basically, you have a choice. Take over your legion or die. Yeah. Uh, and that was what convinced Angron to take it over his legion. Uh, and the second one is, is Omegon, who everybody in the 40k universe doesn't know exists, so therefore is a missing Primarch. That's my take on the story. If you have any thoughts on that, feel free to share them. Thank you. Until next time, bye.